Hello friends, this video on chemistry in everyday life part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we'll talk about enzymes uh, targets and we'll talk about the receptors target. Right? So before we go to the next slide, let's be, uh, give you a quick recap of enzymes and receptors. What are enzymes? Enzymes are proteins. They are proteins. And what's so special about these proteins? They are biocatalyst. We have seen this. So they are proteins and they are biocatalyst. Right? They are biocatalyst protein. What are receptors? So receptors, if you see, they are very crucial to communication. They are very crucial to communication system and their journey on the cell walls so whatever message you want to pass from here this receptors will take it and pass on to the cell the message did not go and message is nothing again but a chemical right they are chemical messengers the chemicals will touch the receptors the receptors will take that message and pass on to the cell the chemical may not or should not go inside the cell so they are receptors we'll talk about these things in details now so let's talk about the enzymes drugs target first before we talk about enzymes drug target let's understand how enzymes work we studied this in the last chapter just bring up recap so what this enzyme does is this enzymes will hold the substrate for example there's a substrate here in the green color they'll hold it so that the chemical reaction can occur properly because it hold it in a suitable position hold in suitable position that is one function the second thing when the substrate bind to uh, they, can, they also form a uh, intermediate they are also form they also form for example this forms an intermediate right this is the intermediate it forms so it forms an intermediate that can easily be broken because this may not easily be broken, but this intermediate, if you see, is easily broken. So, the first thing is they bind, they bind this substrate is the one which is going to react to this active site, correct? And the second is they form intermediate that can easily be broken. Now, the question is how do they bind this bind when they bind uh, the substrate to this active site? How do they bind? See, these enzymes bind. By various force. The one is hydrogen one. Because at the end of the day, this enzyme is nothing but a chemical compound. This substrate is nothing but a chemical compound, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, right? So they'll they may have hydrogen bonding, they may have ionic bond, they may enzymes may also bind using water work force. or sometimes dipole-dipole interaction. So if you see here, the main, the primary part is to hold this substrate at a suitable position and they do this by binding them with these kind of force, hydrogen bond, ionic bond, ventral force. But if you see, observe here, the most critical part is the shape of this enzyme. Because the shape of this enzyme is this, it will take the substrate which is in this shape. For example, now there is a substrate that comes is in this shape. Will this enzyme take? No, obviously it can't take. Right? Why? Because the shape of this enzyme is not made to hold this kind of substrate. Correct? Because it has to be in the similar shape. So that's why different enzymes hold different kind of substrate. And that's why we have so many different kind of enzymes in the body. And now we'll see how this drugs will change, try to change the shape of this enzymes to act. We will see that in the next slide. Just understand this. The way enzymes work is the first critical part of the enzyme is the shape. And they hold using these kind of force. Also, they create intermediate, which are little unstable. So let's see how this drug interacts. 
Correct. So the first option is these drugs itself, as right here. This red one is my drug. And the green one is a substrat, which was supposed to be binded. Correct. So typically what's happened, for example, this substrat binds to catalyst and forms more and more product. Correct. But that particular product which is getting formed is not good. That is making you unhealthy. Maybe that is increasing the acidity level of your body or anything that may be uh, increasing the allergic response in your body. You want to stop that. Now, if you want to stop that using the enzyme target, what you have to do is there is one way. You have to somehow stop enzyme from breaking this substrate. Correct. So one way is the competition. The competition can be generated by you have a drug which is similar to substrate, same look and feel. Now in this case, this drug will compete with this substrate in green to get this catalyst position. So what will happen if you put more drugs, the substrate will not get opportunity to react with this catalyst, right? Because these drugs will block the binding site of enzymes. These drugs in the red will block the binding site of the enzymes and this will inhibit. Inhibit means stop or slow down. This will inhibit the catalytic activity of enzymes. And they are called enzymes inhibitor drugs. Why they call enzymes inhibitor drug? Because these drugs will compete with the natural substrat and will inhibit the catalytic activity of this enzyme because this drugs will bind to the site, active, active site, and this substrat won't be able to bind. So this enzyme will not work properly. Correct? So that is one way. This is called competitive inhibitor. The second is called allocentric inhibitor. So what happens is, in the first case which I told that this enzyme inhibitor, the red drug, that is called enzyme inhibitor, correct? Also right, I will also write, this is enzyme inhibitor, yes. What they do, they compete with the natural substrate for attachment to the active site. In the second case, this is the second scenario, what happens is, this is my drug, the red, red one is my drug actually, and this is my substrate. In the second case, what happened is, there is something called allocentric site here, right? So these drugs will combine or attach to this allocentric site and will change the shape of the enzyme. For example, if you see this enzyme on this face, the shape, the shape of the enzyme is changed now. Since the shape of this enzyme is changed, this enzyme won't accept this substrate. Because this natural substrate won't be able to recognize the enzyme. The enzyme won't accept this. I told for the enzyme to work, shape is mandatory. So once this drug came here, this drug changed the shape of the enzyme. This enzyme became waste. Correct? There are two ways. One is the competitive inhibitor where the drug itself competes with the natural substrate for the binding site. The next is my attachment to the allo allosteric site. Allosteric site. Correct? So in this case, this drugs attached to the allosteric site change the shape of the enzyme and the enzyme is waste. And please note that in this case, if this enzymes forms a very strong bond with these drugs, right, and that cannot be broken easily, so what happens is the body will discard this enzyme and the new enzyme will be created. Correct? This is how these drugs, they target these enzymes. The drugs, they target the enzymes. They either 
target in the competitive fashion or they make these enzymes unusable. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.